Hello, my lovelies. So, uh, I'm back from my trip and I'm feeling better. Um, I had a cold for a little while. Um, but before I went on my trip, uh, some of you that follow my Facebook know my husband gave me a trim. Um, and it was a major trim. <laughs> um, yeah, here. So, yeah. <laughs> major trim. Anyways, um, I have decided that I don't think I'm going to go for knee length anymore. Uh, mostly because it doesn't seem like my hair is really able to handle it. I get to a point um, and it's nice and thick and then the last four or five, sometimes six inches, is really thin. And I have a quality versus quantity debate that I go through and uh, I would love for it to be knee length but I just, I can't stand really thin ends on myself. Um, it just, it's like OCD or something, I just, I can't deal with it. Um, I'm a blunt end girl. So, um, since I've decided that it seems to like tailbone, um, it'll maintain nicely there. Um, I decided I'm going to go lighter. <laughs> I mentioned it. Uh, I actually posed a question to some of my Facebook friends. Um, I think I might go a couple shades lighter. What do you think? Some of them suggested just doing highlights. And I'm like, nah, eh, highlights. It's got highlights. Let's just... I'm done with the red that's in my hair, basically. Um, it's just gotten darker and darker over the years, more and more red, less and less blonde, and I like being blonde. So um, the color I'm going to be aiming for is, uh, many of you are familiar with, JJJ, long hair for you to see, um, Lady Long Locks on LHC, um, which would be about that color. Um, I'm gonna try uh, L'Oreal Paris Feria multifaceted shimmering color with 3x highlights. It's a 110. It's really light. Um, did he? I know two different chicks on the box, but same stuff. Um, it has a ton of conditioner and anti uh, brass and whatever. So it looks really, really blonde, but my hair, I don't think it's going to be that much lighter. I'm basically just hoping it takes most of the red out and then I will be a summer beach blonde because I like that color. Um, where I brave, I would go full platinum, but with this length, I don't think platinum is very practical. <laughs> so anyways, um, here's your before. And then uh, my husband will help me apply the uh, bleach because it's, it's bleach. Um, and then we'll see what the after looks like. Alrighty, I will see you after a while. Okie dokie. So, um, these things come with, uh, latex gloves. I'm allergic to latex, so we, uh, we switch to the, uh, polyurethane type, which don't make my hands feel like they're on fire. Um, so all colors in, or bleach, I guess. It's not really color. Uh, the old man helped me. Uh, make sure I didn't have dry spots anywhere, um, which would be weird just to have a big square of stuff. So, according to the packages, what I need to do is stick it up on my head and wait 25 minutes, and then we're going to rinse it out and see what color it turns. It's exciting! Uh, my friend Melinda um, is a very brave girl. She does her hair a myriad of awesome colors. Um, anything from black to hot pink to platinum blonde to I'm pretty sure she's had it blue and green even. But I'm being brave and going for blonde and let's hope it doesn't fall out. Right? <laughs> so anyways, uh, there we go. I went through almost an entire bottle. And this is interesting. They were two different colors. Um, one box was a little newer than the other, so I don't know, so I just mixed them together. So we'll, it'll be great fun to see what color it turns. Let's hope it turns very blonde and I'm happy. So um, 24 minutes from now, I will rinse and then I will blow it dry and we'll see what it looks like. Alrighty, bye! And we are back with the final hair color. Um, I apologize for the lack of makeup, but you know, showers tend to wash it away. Um, so here's our final result. 
think it looks nice. Um, it's not, as you can tell, it's not a huge drastic result. It's not, oh my god, it's blonde! Um, that did not happen. <laughs> but it did get rid of some of the red. I think a lot of my red, now granted some of my red are the individual strands, but I think um, one of the problems being blonde is that if your water has any iron in it at all, it tends to deposit in your hair and it gives it kind of a red cast. Um, I have nothing against redheads as a whole. I actually think that red hair is really pretty. Um, but some people are meant to be redheads and some people are not meant to be redheads. And I have always felt that I'm meant to be a blonde. Um, I have always identified myself as a blonde. So, um, even strawberry blonde. But I think this is more of a golden or honey blonde. And I feel good about it. I like it. Um, I would love to go platinum, but that's way too much upkeep. And... Yeah, I'm too lazy for that. So anyways, here is the result. As you see, my hair did not die, break, or fall out. <laughs> I do have to say, um, the conditioner they put in the kits is really great, and I wish I could just buy that, because I really like that conditioner. My hair is really soft right now. Um, what else? Oh, um, according to the instructions, which I did my hair like the instructions said, um, but according to the instructions, I should have just rinsed and conditioned and not used any shampoo. And I think that probably would be so had I done a dye. But since it was a lightener and therefore bleach, and you know there is peroxide involved, um, I went ahead and washed it with the shampoo. I did use a sulfate-free gentle shampoo just because, you know, I don't want to kill my hair. <laughs> totally. But, uh, yeah. So I did actually wash it out with shampoo. But, uh, and I used the whole tube of conditioner. Thank goodness I had two boxes because I have another tube yet. Um, but any hoodles, uh, there you have it. There is my blonde, very short hair. I know some of you are laughing about me and calling it short, but it feels short. <laughs> but uh, I am blonder now. Um, I think you can really notice it in the bang area up front. It seems more golden. Anyways, so there you have it. Uh, I bleached my hair, and it doesn't look terrible. Um, I would I would probably even say if you didn't know that I had bleached it, you probably wouldn't have been able to tell. You would have just thought, oh, Torn's been in the sun. Um, but no, I used box dye from the CVS, so there you go. It will not, it will not kill you. Um, although if you go red, try henna because I think those colors tend to be prettier. Anyways, um, so there you have it. Yay! Um, I know it's not a tutorial, but, uh, you know, I had enough people request to see it, so there you go. Um, I bleached my hair a little blonder. Try to get some of the red out. Alrighty, um, I will be back soon with an actual tutorial and a hairstyle. So, um, until then, um, have a great evening, and I will see you later. Bye!